Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist, coming to you from Platanillo, Costa Rica. Oh my goodness, I am in my studio in the casita. Uh, this is also the dry room and the closet and the storage room. So it's damp here in Costa Rica, so we have a dehumidifier in this room, keeping our clothes, my art supplies, and things like that mold free. So. You will hear background noises. We have the guys still doing construction. You will hear road noise. And sometimes I forget to turn off the dehumidifier, so sometimes you get to hear the dehumidifier also. It's kind of like a white noise in the background. I apologize for that. Sometimes I get so excited about creating that I forget to set the stage, so to speak. So anyway, uh, we have been in Costa Rica for over six months now. I have done very little on the public uh, YouTube, um, concentrating mostly on short videos in the underpants club, uh, cooking, sewing, eco-printing, things like that. Uh, and today we are going to make a wonky heart uh, with some scraps and slow stitching. I have enjoyed slow stitching for the last six months here in Costa Rica. And uh, I would imagine I'm going to continue to do that. I've made dolls, I've made hearts, I've made a dress, I've made fish. Uh, so very, very fun with the um, slow stitching. So I think enough out of me. Um, Hudson's doing fine. At this point, uh, Roberto is in the United States gathering our things for shipping. And... I've been playing. So, thank you so much for joining me here in Costa Rica and see you on the table. Ah, the never ending sound of construction. <laughs> this is our fun project for today slow stitching on scraps and creating a wonky heart. Uh, I really enjoyed this. And I hope you do too. So before I left the States, I made small squares with scraps on them that I was going to slow stitch and I've never really gotten back to them. The uh, scraps are basted on with a cream colored thread. And I am going to slow stitch these I'm just going to use this color. That won't. Sh well, we're going to use this color anyway. And slow stitch. I'm going to need four squares. So maybe we won't use that one. I'm going to need four squares for the project. And I'm going to start slow stitching. This piece needed a little bit more fabric, so I grabbed a piece of green fabric and starting from the back I am going to start my slow stitching. And we'll come back when I get more done. A simple slow stitch, straight slow stitch for this pro project. Well, good morning. Dark o'clock here in Costa Rica. I have my four pieces of scraps and slow stitch. Very simple slow stitch, my favorite. And I am going to take the four pieces. Oh, my guys are already at work. God love them. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. So I have the slow stitch going in this direction, this direction, this direction, and this direction. I'm going to pin these four pieces together. Actually, I'm going to start with two pieces. I will pin two pieces together and slow stitch them together. I love the ragged edge of the fabric, so I leave that. This one is going to be like this and this. 
Ooh, let's leave that off. That's wonderful. So pin that together. Make sure I have enough overlap fabric. I do. Looks like I still have basting thread here. Remove that at some point in time, huh? All right, I'm gonna slow stitch these two together and these two together. All right, I have these pieces sewn together. And what I'm gonna do now is sew them together and create one piece, making sure that there's enough of an overhang for the stitching, which it appears there is. Pin that in place and slow stitch. All right, I have all four pieces uh, sewn together. I'm going to bring in some, a piece of fabric that I have enough of. <laughs> That's the ruling factor. And I am going to pin that onto my slow stitch piece. Outsides to outsides. Now that it's pinned together, that background piece. I am going to draw a heart. Can't go too high. Fabric doesn't go that high. sure I have fabric all around the heart, which it feels like I do. That's kind of close. Might come down a little bit more. And shorten it just a little bit here to It's good. I'm going to pin it making sure to catch all the fabric. So if I put a pin through here and check on the back, plenty, plenty of space to sew it together. Good. I will save the scraps. Of course, these are the scraps from the last one. Those will make probably another heart. Okay, what I'm going to do now is bring in a strong polyester thread and sew just outside that line all around. I'll leave an opening about this big to stuff the heart. All right, I stitched around the heart. I'm gonna, here's the opening here trim off some of the extra, keep it for something down the road that could be fun. And turn this guy right side out.
using a paintbrush to the wooden end of the paintbrush to push everything in place. Bring in my polyfill and start stuffing the heart. Sometimes I use that same paintbrush to make sure that the polyfill is down in the pointed areas or in the heart areas. Whatever you need to do to get your heart stuffed. You can make it real, real full or real, real empty and squishy. Artist choice. I have my beautiful wonky heart all stuffed. Bring in a slip stitch. Close up the gap. And then what I like to do when I finish it off is create a knot. I go a couple of times around. Take that needle and that thread, shove it into the center. Pull it tight, snip it off. And then the end of that thread is hidden. So fun! All right, my second heart. I love them wonky. These are so fun. Ah, all right, thank you for coming along on this little journey of slow stitching and wonkiness. Your turn. Go create, go play. Go have fun.